morning. Welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Emma Edmondson. And I'm Nick Ruddy. Today is Friday, August 25th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Students now have the opportunity to repaint parking spots. WRSA's news reporter, Alexis Coffey, has the story. Today I'm here with Mr. Crimmins for repainting parking spots. So how many community service hours will you get? So you will get eight community service hours if you come and help repaint the spots. When and where will it be? So it's going to be not this Saturday, but next Saturday, September 2nd, from 8 a.m. until noon. Do they have to bring their own supplies? They don't necessarily have to. We'll have some on uh, supply. We're going to have uh, paint, absolutely. But if you want to bring your own roller and your own disposable tray, we'll also give two additional community service hours. When can seniors come to actually paint their spot? So for senior spots, there's a couple things first. So you have to receive a contract from me. You can get it um, any Tuesday up until the actual date. Um, what they have to do is they pay $15 unless they have a senior package. But regardless, I have to check and see if they've paid. Then they'll get a contract. They have to fill out all the info for the contract. And then they come back to me by September 15th with their design. And on September 23rd, which is a Saturday, and September 25th, which is a Monday, they can come from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. to paint their spots. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Alexis Coffey. This year's One Act Play is coming up and tryouts are being held. WSRH News reporter Taylor Sims has more on the audition. Seminole Ridge is holding auditions for their One Act Plays. I'm here with Mr. Lee about them. So, Mr. Lee, what is a One Act Play? One Act Play is a shortened play. Um, it's not uh, two hours long. It's only about 45 minutes long. And so... Uh, it's a little bit uh, easier to digest and it's a little bit quicker. Um, the one nice thing is this is going to be a competition piece as well as uh, a fun little entertainment piece for everyone to enjoy. What do you need for the audition? Uh, you need a one, act mo or one minute monologue um, and a joke. Um, a one minute monologue can be, I prefer to be funny, but the thing is if you have just anything, um, just bring something, a one minute monologue and then a joke and uh, a willingness to try. When are the auditions? They're going to start Monday and continue on Tuesday for about an hour after school. How many spots are open? Um, several, actually. Uh, if you're an actor, um, there's eight actual named roles, but I might actually increase it to about 12. And then there's also a whole bunch of technical positions I'm going to need. Thank you. For WSRH News, I'm Taylor Sims. Dance team tryout results are finally in. WSRH reporter Andy Simmons has more on the results. The Seminole Ridge dance team had their class this past week. I'm here with Ms. Plow to talk about how it went. So Ms. Plow, how many people tried out? We had like 30 people try out for the team. It was a really great turnout. How many people made the team? Uh, 18 of those 30 made the team, and even the ones that didn't make the team, I definitely want to see them again because it was amazing. It was a really hard decision, and everyone was really talented. When's your guys' first competition? Uh, competition season for us doesn't start until January, so we have a little while, but we're going to be performing at the pep rallies and the football games, and practice actually starts on Monday, so we're just, we're going to get started right away. Okay. Congratulations to all ma who made the team. For WSRH News, I'm an Ima Queens. Everyone loves a catchy tune, so let's see how well our students know their song lyrics. WSRH News reporter Haley Alon has the answer. Good morning, class. Today we have a different segment for you. We're going to do a finish the lyric challenge. We're going to walk around and go find some hawks. We're doing Baby by Justin Bieber, so we'll see how this goes. We found our first staff member. Who are you? Erica Rollin, the cafeteria manager. You. Okay, you ready? <laughs> you know you love me. I know you care. Just shout whenever and I'll be there. <laughs> okay. My first love broke my heart for the first time, and I was like... Baby, 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 oh. Baby, 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 oh. Baby, 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 oh. You guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When I was 13, I had my first love. Oh, stop. I can't. I literally, like, when I was 13, I had my first love. I know it's that Justin Bieber song. There's nobody that compared to my baby, and nobody came between and could ever come above. <laughs> She got me going, going crazy, oh, I was starstruck. <laughs> Daily, don't need no Starbucks. <laughs> my first love broke my heart for the first time, and I was like. 
Maybe. I don't know. You got it. What's the verse? I just know it's like maybe four times. First priority is having its first meeting today. WSRS news reporter Liam Kane has more about the club. We're here with Mr. Moya, the sponsor of First Priority. So, Mr. Moya, what is First Priority? Uh, good morning. First Priority is a Christian club that exists to promote uh, good behave, good uh, manners, uh, knowing of the Bible, uh, being respectful. Uh, we promote everything that is good for the well-being of the students, uh, emotionally and spiritually. When is the next meeting? Uh, we meet every Friday at 3 p.m. in the room 9103 from 3 to 4. And do you need to bring anything to the first priority meetings? Only your desire to learn more about God's word. Um, and every Friday, as an uh, extra note, uh, every, every the last Friday of the month, we're going to have a pizzas for everybody who attend. Okay, come with an open mind, willing to ask questions. You want to know more about God and the scriptures. This is the place for you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Liam Payne. Attention 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students. Picture day is coming up on September 8th in room 7110. They will, they will be taking place during your English class. Remember to dress your best talk. Seniors interested in buying new apparel? Ms. Vassilotti is now selling class of 2024 shirts, which are available in room 6203 for $15 before school, during lunch, and after school. You can pay by cash, check, or if you're buying a senior package, they are available on School Cash Online. Hey freshmen, interested in purchasing, purchasing class t-shirts? Well, Mr. and Mrs. Ciafaletti are selling class of 27 t-shirts for $15, cash or check in room 3205. You can stop by in the mornings or afternoons this week. Are you interested in horses and learning more about them? Well, why not join the Equestrian Club? The first meeting is on September 1st in room 6206. Coming up on WS Rich News, weather and birthdays. Plus, sports and review, sports results and reviews. <laughs> Hey Emma, when does it rain money? I don't know, when? When there's a change in the weather. Let's go to WSRH meteorologist Jonah Baker with today's forecast. Good morning Hawks, today we have a high of 92, a low of 75 with partly cloudy skies. Looking at our three day forecast, on Saturday we have a high of 93, a low of 77 with partly cloudy skies. On Sunday we have a high of 92, a low of 76 with scattered thunderstorms. And on, on Monday we have a high of 93, a low of 77 with scattered thunderstorms. For WSRH weather, I'm Jonah Baker. We have a happy birthday going out to Mark Johnson, Savannah Barrett, Melina Rodriguez, Gabriela Mendoza, Hannah Lee Turbush, Ari Francis, Jada Noel, Miguel Ramos. Happy birthday. WSRA sports anchor Caleb Goss joins us now at the sports desk. Good morning, Hawks. Yesterday was quite the football game, so let's see how it went. Last night, our football team pulled out a win against the Glade Central Raiders after an intense battle. WSRIH sports reporter Ryan Hansen has more on the game. I'm here with Coach Chifo following last night's varsity football win over Glade Central. So, Coach, you got the win, but how pleased are you with your team's performance? Oh, well, you're always happy when you get the W. Um, you know, there's definitely some things we need to clean up, um, you know, with penalties and things like that. But, uh, you know, the guys fought hard all night for four quarters, and... Uh, came out on top. That's what we expected to do. So what do you hope to improve on the most this week in practice? Uh, I think I just said it, right? The penalties. Uh, we tried to give them every opportunity to take the game away from us. Um, you know, whether it be giving them fresh sets of downs or fumbling footballs. Uh, you know, we just need to do a better job protecting the football and, and like I said, not shooting ourselves in the foot at critical moments. 
uh, in the game. So who are your top performers? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, we had a lot of kids step up last night. I mean, Garrett Rimes played a good game. Robbie Venero had a great game. Uh, we had Liam Ishizaki got in there at linebacker. Of course, Ty Jackson. I mean, it's it was a team effort. Everybody put their stuff on the line and got it done when it needed to happen. So when's your next game and who do you play? Uh, next game will be next Thursday here again at home. Uh, we'll be playing Royal Palm Beach, and uh, hopefully everybody comes back out to watch us. I want to thank everybody for that came out last night for coming to support us. Uh, the, the stadium was rocking again like it always was, so hopefully next Thursday we'll get the same result. So what do you hope to see out of your team next week besides a win? Well, again, just cleaner football. You know what I mean? Uh, less penalties. Uh, and, uh, you know, like I said, I mean, we, we have some things to clean up offensively. Uh, defensively, I thought they played an outstanding game, uh, you know, as many times as they had to stop them on fourth downs uh, and, and came through clutch every single time. Uh, you know, they only had really one drive uh, where they were able to move the ball on us all night. So uh, defense, I, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, safe with, but I, I feel like offensively, we just got to clean a few things up and we'll be fine. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSRH News, I'm Mason Kentucky. We have over 600 freshmen this year. Let's see what they think about their first football game at Seminole Ridge. Yesterday was our first home football game, and I'm here with Alea. So, Alea, how was your first football game? It was actually really fun. Is this the first time as a freshman at Seminole Ridge? Yes. And would you ever go to one again? Yeah. We're here with Davey. So, Davey, was this your first, your first football game as a freshman? Yes, this was my first football game as a freshman. What did you think of it? It was a great experience for my first time out here at Seminole. Are you going to go to another one? Definitely. We're here with Chris. So, how was your first football game? Good. Are you going to go to another one? Yeah. And is this your first time as a freshman at Seminole? Yeah. Okay. We're here with Levi. So, how was your first football game? It was pretty amazing. Is this your first football game as a freshman at Seminole? Yes, ma'am. And are you going to go to another one? I definitely will. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSRH News, I'm Natalie Jeremiah. Taking a look at the sports calendar, we have no sports scheduled, just practices. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Caleb Goss. And that's it for WSRH News. I'm Emma Edmondson. And I'm Nick Reddick. Remember that you can follow us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Summoner Risk TV. Have a great day, Hawks.